Здравствуйте, друзья. Этот насос я построил. Hello, friends. I built this pump for a liquid dispenser, but its nodes can fulfill your other hydraulic fantasies as well. A complete list of materials used as, as always, in the video description. Most of the parts when made from roofing iron and steel wire. Several manufacturing and assembly points have been omitted to shorten the length of the video. But I hope that fans of DIY will understand everything this way. This is how I coupled the piston to the crankshaft. In this pump, the hydraulic cylinder also acts as a connecting rod. I made the inlet and outlet valve bodies from medical syringes. I melted the holes with a regular soldering iron. I made the valve diaphragms from a thin sheet of rubber. The lock for this membrane is the syringe plunger seal. To weld the valve bodies, I had to make the simplest tooling, which made it possible to ensure the alignment of the mating parts. The valves have shown high reliability when pumping both liquid and air. Cyanoacrylate glue provided high adhesion when gluing nylon parts. And this is how I bent the coupler link of from steel wire. You can easily assemble this pump and upgrade as needed. For example, you can install a larger syringe to increase pump performance. The pump is driven by a small geared motor. The crank is fastened to the shaft using a bushing from the electric terminal block. And the length of the crank determines how much liquid will be pumped over in one cycle. Here's what we got. Let's check if the pump works. Connect the power supply and fill in the contrast liquid. As you can see, the pump pumps both liquid and air equally well. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see how this pump will work in the dispenser. See you on the channel.